Hey everybody, Craig here, CLP Bushcraft. So, come over here to my place today, make this video for you, and show you this new pack system that I got now. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it already. I posted several pics of it, and I used it last weekend on my uh, hammock. Uh, hang class that uh, Logan Primitive Awakening and Jonathan the Bearded Burton put on. Um, this is the everything that I brought, except minus my food bucket. Uh, but what I did is I wanted a system that was kind of a lightweight summer system that I could have everything in, my gear, and then uh, sleep system in it. And I've recently got into hammock camping. And I've got a War Bonnet Blackbird XLC hammock, and love that hammock. I mean, it's it's awesome. It's some of the best night sleep I've ever had in the woods. And um, so everything fits in this pack. What this pack is is a junction pack, they call it. And uh, I've got it paired up with their V2 original kit. This is the chest kit. So let me kind of get the camera set up here, and I'll show you what all I keep in it and how uh, how I got it set up. So I see it just a minute. All right, so basically I went with this because I wanted to put together a system that I could put together and I could put in some miles if I wanted to uh, and still have everything that I need for a sleep system, food, uh, and uh, the gear that I want to have with me. Uh, so basically what this is is the Hill People Gear chest this is the v2 original uh chest kit and then the pack is their junction pack they call it and it's a 22 liter pack and it pairs up really nice with the with the v2 kit um and then as far as like if i want like when i went to camp okay so i go camp set up and then I want to hike around well I just want the chest kit to do so but I need something to put water in so I got my mother's canteen carrier kit back out and kind of redesigned it from what I used to have it as but basically I just got my canteen in it now with my be free filter and then one side's got a couple protein bars the other side's got some coffee and some fuel uh, tab bars the fuel little fuel cell things um, and I, I got my Emberlet titanium uh, fire ant stove in the back of it where, like I say, with the little fuel tabs, if I wanted to make coffee or boil water or whatever, didn't want to make a twig fire, I could do so with them. Uh, but I got that in there. And then in the G-Roll section here, I've got it hooked on with the, uh, with the straps, but then I put the bungee straps on it where it don't move around there as much. But all I got in it is my... Uh, Bushcraft Outfitters core temp poncho, a space blanket, and some cordage. That's all I keep in it. So I mean, it's pretty lightweight. The canteen's full of water right now, and it's it's fine. So that way I could, you know, throw the mothers on with just the chest pack, you know, ditch the junction pack, and then hike around and do whatever I need to do that day. All right, so the chest pack, kind of lower you down here. All right, so it comes with. Uh, these Grimlocks, I think is what these are called. Comes with them and then these uh, tension uh, straps here. And what you do is you hook, hook them to your junction pack, the shoulder harness of it, and it adjusts the, the load. So it's like a little like load lifters. Um, so you can really balance out the, the load really, really well with this pack uh, paired up with the chest, chest rig. So basically, you want to take it off. You just undo take that off take that off undo your sternum strap like so and then you're freed from the pack and then you just got just the chest rig on see how it looks up the back you just put it over your head it's got a quick connect buckle here where you can put it on and off real easy or you can just slide it over your head like you would a shirt or something um, got adjustable straps here on the top 
adjustable straps on each side like so and really really comfortable so i mean you can i mean move around you can get down on the ground pick stuff up do work whatever you need to do and uh the, the stays right there uh, and it's very handy you know everything's right there handy to get to so what i carry in it and one thing i do with this is these grimlocks i'll take and put them behind the straps like so and close it down and then you'll see why in just a minute so the first pack the first pocket here i just keep my little gerber saw it's just a lightweight little saw they don't make it anymore uh but I, I like keeping it with me that way i've got a saw on me uh, i do have in my pack my silky saw but I, this is very lightweight and it saws uh, really good my compass with my lander i made with the ranger beads this is a sun 2 uh, mc2 compass really really good compass my little olight uh, batten 2 srs one r batten 2 i keep it in there fully charged also on, on me i keep the uh the s2r batten 2 light i keep that normally on me as my everyday carry light but i keep this one as a backup And then get the compass back in there. And then I just got my little uh, electric lighter, the little uh, Takamoto lighter you can get from Titan Survival. All right, so in the second pocket here, it kind of just clam shells down like so. All right, so I've got in this uh, Hidden Woodsman pocket pouch. It's basically my toiletry kit. I've got uh, toilet paper, wet wipes, a little trowel. Um, and I have some odd and things like some burn cream and uh, dental picks, that kind of thing, just different toiletry stuff. Then I've got two different kinds of cordage. I got some reflective uh, guideline and then just some of the bank line. And just got a little pocket as you can see here, keep them in there. Then I got uh, a little, little strop and my DC4 sharpener and the little tough possum pocket pouch. I've got a pocket bellows, some tweezers, a uh, Grim Survival, their little cordage maker that you can use a, like a two liter Coke bottle or whatever plastic bottle to make your cordage with. And I've got the Grim Survival fishing kit. Uh, it's the one that's got the lures and the little hand reel and everything with it. And some fingernail clippers and just a piece of waxwood stick and a pocket bellows. All for starting a fire. Uh, fire. <laughs> starting a fire if they <laughs> All right. Um, then I've got just a little thing of some Gorilla Tape little sewing kit little GSI spork and then this is really cool I always keep this with me it is live the creed it's their pocket trauma kit and in it it's got a small little section here where it's just like basically boo-boos you got band-aids uh, ointments uh, little alcohol wipes that kind of thing with it but then you've got a SWAT tourniquet back here the SWAT T tourniquet on this side of it, you've got uh, some of the big uh, latex gloves, the big long ones that goes up high. Uh, you have a the Celox, the Rapid Ribbon for some you know major bleeding, and then I added this to it. It is the uh, hyphen fin uh, chest seals. It's the mini ones. I added that to it uh, as well, but I got it with everything else here was with it when you buy it but you never know i mean when you're out and about and you're playing with sharp tools like knives and axes and that kind of thing you just you never know it's always a good idea uh, to have some kind of a trauma kit with you and to know how to use it so that always stays with me that pretty much is it in the the large pocket here all right so the back pocket now you see reason I put these Grimlocks, locked them back like I did, 
is the zipper on this one is kind of a hidden zipper. You can see that the material is flapped over it, so it's kind of a concealed. And basically, it's you can use it as a concealed uh, carry option. So what I keep in mind is my little Glock 43. It fits perfect in there just like so. And you can come out with it really fast. But with them Grimlocks just dangling, they can get in the way when you're trying to really get to your, your weapon quick. So that's why I lock them back like that so they're not just dangling. But what all else I keep in this back section with the pistol is my... This is my bandana. This is my little wazoo tracking bandana. I kind of change it out. Um, yeah, I just wash these when, when I get dirty and change it out with a different one. Uh, in this little fox like gear triangle pouch, I keep all my cords for everything that's chargeable, like my Olight, uh, my iPhone, my uh, Garmin watch, that kind of thing. And then I've got a battery cell here. And this battery cell is, is kind of unique. It actually connects to something uh, you'll see here in a little bit. I got two of these with me. One's in this and the other's in the, the uh, junction pack. And then I keep a spare mag for my 43. And this one has got the Tyron Tactical Plus 3 base plate on it. And then lastly, I just keep my Hidden Woodsman signal panel back there just folded up in the back. So all that fits very nicely. Just like so. Like I say, really, really, really comfortable. Um, I never thought I would really, you know, care much for the for the uh, chest rigs, but after getting this one and uh, using it, I really like it. So let me show you now. Let me get reset up, and I'll show you what I was in the uh, the junction pack. See you there. So the junction pack, like I say, this is a 22 liter pack, so it's not a real big liter. Uh, it's not a real big pack. Um, the shoulder harness on it's what's unique about this uh, Hill People gear. It's not like a normal um, bag. I mean, it's got like a, I mean, you can see the like the U-shaped harness here. And once you get this thing sized up, we, it's super comfortable. Really, really comfortable. I love it. All right, so it don't have a whole lot of pockets to it. It's got on the top up here, it's got a zipper pocket. And in that pocket, I keep my True Knights headlamp, just a SA uh, face shield. You can't never tell now, do you? Um, so uh, some toothpaste, toothbrush, a little bit more cordage, and just a little small thing of uh, travel size deodorant. And that's all I keep up there. Kind of a little continuation of toiletry kit and whatnot. All right, on the sides of it, on this side, I've got my LT Wright uh, Genesis. And then I've got my Silky Saw, and it's in a Centerline Systems pouch. adjust this camera back down a little bit more for you so you can see the pack more and less of me all right okay so this side I've got my Takamo uh, solar charger and then my thermosail because the mosquitoes here is horrible and then another one of these batteries Hold on, this camera's all jawed. okay that's better all right so then oh and on the bottom of it i've just got one of the um i forgot the name of it it's one of them heavy duty survival blankets you know that you can it's a reusable one um, I've got it. It uses my ground cloth underneath my hammock, and I've just got it hooked into these eyes with some shock cord. It don't have any kind of molly on the bottom of this pack or nothing, so I just did that with a shock cord. All right. So, like I say, with this battery, where did it go? Here. 
battery I've got actually hooks to this fan. It's got three speeds, low, medium, and high. Oh, feels good. All right, so what I did with this, this, the why I've got a fan in here is I come up with the idea, okay, so I solo camped over on my place with my hammock. And I got to thinking, I was like, man, there wasn't no wind blowing at night. And I was like, man, if I just had some air moving, it'd be great. So I got to thinking, looking on Amazon, and found these fans. And I said, um, I said, I bet that will work on the ridge line on the top of the hammock, you know, inside it, because it got the bug, bug net around it. So what I did is I took a um, shock cord and just tied two loops of shock cord onto the ridge line. And so your ridge line's going like this. And I took the battery and just slipped it into both of them where it's hosed it tight. The head of this fan adjusts. So I kept it back behind me and just had it blowing kind of back of my head and then down my body. And it worked really, really well that night and uh, second night too. But what was really nice about it is the battery life on it. I ran it on low, and really low was all I needed just to have the wind movement. And it kept it kept me good and cool that night. And so I run the battery both nights on low, and it'll hold up. So you can run two nights on one battery on low. So it worked out really well. But it's an O-Polar, O-P-O-L-A-R is the brand, and it's on Amazon. So you can check them out if you hammock camp and you want to look for a fan. It's a great option. I keep, I got my uh, war bonnet goose down pella, and no, I do not keep this in here. I keep this in my truck where it stays lofted up. I don't keep it compressed. I just put it in here to show you, you know, that I keep it in here when I'm camping. I've got a AquaQuest 30 liter dry bag, so if it gets raining or whatever, I can lower the tarp down low on the, on the hammock. I can put everything you see here in this bag. Chest rig, backpack, everything will go in this bag and keep everything nice and dry. Uh, so then I got just my AquaQuest 30 by 10 tarp. Blackbird XLC Warbonnet hammock. And my XL Snug Packs Jungle Blanket. And that's it. I mean, that's that's all I really need. Now, like I say, what I could do is, if and I'm going to do something like I did the other night, I can take my uh, bucket, food bucket. Now, in my food bucket, I've got, it's a bucket with a gamma seal lid, if you don't know what I'm talking about or if you had not seen it on my Instagram. I've got a bucket. I learned this little trick from the bearded Burton Jonathan, my buddy. Take a bucket that's got a gamma seal lid on it. So it's waterproof, watertight, and everything. He tears his on kayaking trips. Um, so I keep all my food, all my food cooking stuff, everything in that bucket. So when I get to camp, everything's right there in the bucket. And it stays dry, no coons or anything like that. You know, can get in there and get it as long as you keep the lid on it. And uh, then... Back in there, um, and then you got a table. You know, if you don't pack in any kind of a camp chair, you can use it as a chair, sit on. Um, works really, really good. I mean, I, I really like the bucket idea. But like I say, if I didn't carry the bucket with me, then I still have room in here. I can compress stuff down more and get you know like another shirt in there underwear in there socks in there and then i could get in there some mountain house meals too if need be so that's pretty much it oh this little uh This little pocket here on the uh, shoulder strap i've got it it's helped people gear also and all i keep in it is just bug spray just so I got it handy because this mosquito is out. Oh, another thing I did too, okay. So like if I know it's gonna rain or something, I could take my uh, poncho and put it on the top. I put these uh, bungees, uh, tie downs on the top here and I can run my poncho through it and have it real quick if I need to get to it, uh, if I know it's fixing to rain or anything. 
so that's pretty much it um, really good really good piece of gear I really like this pack it's lightweight um, heavy duty made but um, yeah go check them out it's Hill People Gear it's a company out of Colorado um, I'm really liking this system like I say I still love my Hidden Woodsman stuff and uh, definitely when winter time comes around the uh, the deep woods rucks all going to be toting and if I got to go in for a long distance you know ain't going to be staying for a while I definitely take the deep woods ruck but uh, with this you know like a couple overnighters lightweight move quick real comfortable it's hard to beat so uh, like I say guys I'm sorry I hadn't made a bunch of videos here lately it's just been hot with COVID mess going on everything else winter time I got stuff coming up there's different gatherings coming up that I try to want to go to I might be teaching at one uh, maybe I don't know yet um, but yeah winter time comes up fall definitely a lot more hammock camping I want to do some overnights where I film you know and do an overnight you know completely overnight filming and stuff and show you all that but uh, anyway just bear with me um, I'm still gonna put videos out when I can and uh, if you like what you see you know if you're new here you know hit that subscribe button and I'll let you know when I post or hit that bell notification let you know when I post a video and check me out on Instagram COP bushcraft on Instagram where I post most of my stuff uh, put a lot of gear out there and everything and stuff that I do so you know I appreciate a, a follow there all right thank you everybody and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Y'all take care.